Are Pinterest ads right for you? Well, in today's video, we are going to talk about all things Pinterest ads and whether or not you may or may not be a good fit for the platform. Hello, my name is Adriana. I run the Pinterest marketing agency, Cordial Media, as well as this YouTube channel. And I help Shopify e-commerce businesses and influencers drive traffic and sales utilizing Pinterest. In today's video, I'm going to do the deep dive on all things Pinterest ads and whether or not it could be a great fit for you. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button and to hit the bell to be notified every single time I post a new video here on the Cordial Media YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's dive into the video. Let me ask you this. Do you want to build a community, look for long-term growth, get consistent growth, as well as build your brand awareness and even diversify your marketing efforts? then in that case, Pinterest ads may be the exact right fit for you and your business. Pinterest ads may also be a great fit for your business if you have a Shopify store or just an e-commerce store in general, if you're looking to build leads for your business, if your website has been around for at least six months, and if you're looking to build traffic. On the flip side, however, if you're expecting the exact same successful results that you're getting on Facebook, if you're ROAS driven, if you're looking for instant direct sales within the first three days of running ads, and if your business is brand new to the online space, then Pinterest ads are likely not the best fit for you at this point in time. Even if you're expecting to be profitable within the very first month, or you think that you can launch an entire business from scratch utilizing only Pinterest ads, although it may happen for some people, it's very unlikely for most. Let's talk about why you may not be a right fit for Pinterest ads at this point in time. The first thing to consider is that pinners are at the research stage of their buying journey when they open their Pinterest app. And so the buying journey on Pinterest tends to be longer than on other platforms. A lot of advertisers are not willing to stick out the two week learning period when you launch ads, as well as they're not normally even willing to stick out the first month of potentially losing some money. The second thing to consider is the fact that Pinterest has less than 500 million users on their platform, that is significantly less than other platforms such as Facebook and Instagram, where they have 2 billion users to play with on Facebook and 1 billion users to play with on Instagram. Thirdly, because the Pinterest buying journey is longer, the algorithm is also a little bit longer and is optimizing to help convert pinners at when they are ready to buy and not necessarily earlier. Again, a lot of e-commerce businesses are not necessarily willing to stick out that longer buying journey and learning period and so if you are not interested in not seeing results for the first couple weeks then Pinterest may not be for you however if you do fit the criteria of an advertiser who is willing to build that community like I mentioned at the beginning of this video you're looking to build that traffic that brand awareness and you are willing to stick out the learning period because you are aware that sales come consistently long term on Pinterest, then Pinterest ads may be the right fit for your business at this point in time. One last thing that I want to bring up before we wrap up today's video, and that is please not to put expectations on the experts that you hire in a certain field to bring you results that are out of this world and out of the norm. You know, experts like myself, Pinterest experts, Facebook experts, we only can do so much to bring your campaigns to a certain level and we can't fight against algorithms. We always work with algorithms. And so I don't want you to necessarily come with the expectation that your product or your service is so much better than the average that, you know, it's going to, it's not going to take that two week learning period before you break even, or it's not going to take a month before you break even. You know, I just want you to be conscious that no matter what your success is on other platforms, Pinterest may not reflect the same thing and it will still have to go through the same learning periods that all campaigns go through when they're first launched on Pinterest. Keep in mind that when you're hiring myself or any other Pinterest marketing expert, you are paying for knowledge. You are understanding that you're, you know, getting somebody who knows how to set up campaigns properly on Pinterest, who knows how to optimize properly on Pinterest. Um, but that also cannot necessarily work magic around things that we cannot control. So I just wanted to preface that I do get these questions a lot during client meetings or, or meetings that I have with some of my subscribers or anybody who's interested in running Pinterest ads. And so it's something that I wanted to talk about today on my channel. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments or your opinions on this. 
because I would love to hear your thoughts as well. If you'd like to chat about it further to see whether or not you are a good fit for running ads on Pinterest at this point in time, then feel free to book a meeting with me. It's, it'll be linked in the description box below. It's totally free. We could just chat about it and see if we're a good fit to work together. If you do also have a question about anything that I mentioned in this video or about the Pinterest buying journey or how ads take time to optimize or you know anything that I've talked about um, on my channel as well, feel free to write it in the comment box below and I'd be happy to answer you. On that note, I'm gonna wish you a lovely rest of your day and we will chat in the next video. Bye for now.